Apparently in the Lego community, Stranger Things is a big hit. The Stranger Things Lego set, which I have behind me, you can't see it, but it's very, very popular. A lot of people liked it, and a lot of people were asking if we're going to get something else like it. I mean, if you didn't know, Stranger Things is probably the most popular show of the year, maybe behind Game of Thrones. It's a very good show. I recommend you watch it if you haven't seen it, but if you haven't seen it, I don't know why you're watching this video. Maybe you just like Lego, but who knows. Anyways, people always ask me, is there going to be another Stranger Things set? Is your mock a set? And I respond by saying, no, my mock is not a set. It's a mock. <laughs> it's not a set. I wish it was, but it's not. I'm going to answer today the question of will we get another Stranger Things set? And of course, you have to take everything I say with a grain of salt because I don't work at Lego. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but these are my speculations based off the popularity of the show and some moves that LEGO has made in the past. I think that this could be correct because I've made a video about a year and a half ago on will Harry Potter ever come back and yes it came back like exactly a year later so maybe if we're lucky my streak will continue and we'll get something next year but anyways here is my reasoning for as to why we will be getting another Stranger Things set. The big thing with LEGO making license sets is of course the creative licensing. They have to have the license to promote and sell these licensed products because they can't just sell this intellectual property without permission. That's kind of like a duh statement. Now this is a lot easier to explain than my Harry Potter video because we know that LEGO has the Stranger Things license. They released a set about a couple months ago. They haven't lost the license. I would be incredibly shocked if they did, especially because they released a minifigure at Comic-Con. But that's not my only piece of evidence. The thing that I am trying to explain here is that when LEGO was going to make more Harry Potter sets, there was a growing demand for the sets and we knew they had the license because they released LEGO Dimensions Harry Potter packs earlier that year that I made the video, I'm pretty sure. But what that meant is that they had the licensing and if they were making something new like that, it would be very shocking if they didn't make something else. Now, of course, there are some exceptions, like you have some LEGO Dimensions packs that never became full-on lines, but with Harry Potter being such a high-demanded product, it made sense that they actually made some more of that. So, with Stranger Things, it's kind of along the same lines. I know when the set came out, the whole community went crazy. I'm talking crazy. Everybody loved the set. At the time, I had no idea what Stranger Things was, how the tables have turned. But what that means is that there were a lot of people who were ecstatic about it. And that doesn't happen with all the sets. In fact, I think I saw more excitement for the Stranger Things set than I have for Star Wars lines or, you know, any more popular line in the past. And that was something that LEGO obviously pays attention to. LEGO listens to their fans for the most part, but because they saw this excitement, I think they're going to take that excitement and fuel it into something else. Compare it to the Simpsons line, for example. We had the first direct-to-consumer set for the Simpsons line. That was the house, I believe, the Simpsons house, and that was the one set. Compare it to the Stranger Things set. Those sets are equal. Well, if you know anything about the Simpsons line, we have two direct-consumer sets and two minifigure series. series just too many figure stuff. What that means is Lego saw the feel for that Simpsons house. Apparently it was popular enough to where they made another set called the Quickie Mart and that sold just as well and they had minifigure series and stuff like that. Now taking it back to Stranger Things, you have the one direct consumer set and I believe that that is the start of something. We know that they have plans to do something else. Well we don't exactly know but I think we know they released a Barb minifigure at Comic-Con. I think by them doing that, it means there's something going on behind the scenes with Stranger Things. I doubt they would make a minifigure like that and just leave it in the blue. I think there's going to be something that goes along with it. I think there was a big success between both the show and the set, and I'd be highly surprised after all of the community feedback if LEGO just gave up their license and forgot all about Stranger Things. They bought the license, they have the license, now they can produce stuff. I doubt they would do a one-time thing and only make one thing, especially because LEGO is getting a little bit more violent with their sets. That's a weird way to word it, but you have Overwatch, you have Stranger Things now. Some of that stuff is a little bit more morbid than things we've seen in the past, and because of that, I think I honestly think Stranger Things will be coming out in the future. I'm not quite sure when it will come out, maybe next year, but I'm praying for a CMF line, and if I had to make any speculations, I don't think the set will be anything from Season 3. I just think Season 3 came out too soon, and if we were to get something next year, I would be incredibly surprised if it were something like Starcourt Mall, 
or Hawkins Lab, or I don't even know, the pool. I would be surprised if it was something from season three, maybe season two, or something that's kind of between all three seasons, if that makes sense, or something that's prominent, like the, you know the house they made, that was pretty prominent, it was in the first, second, and third seasons. I feel like they would make something that's not specifically Stranger Things 3, I think like a Hawkins Lab, something like that, maybe a little cutout of something from the Upside Down. That's what I think. I honestly think they would continue a similar style to their previous set, and I definitely think with the creation of the Barb minifigure, we might be getting a CMF line. I think we will be getting something else. All the points just add up. I highly doubt LEGO would buy a license and get the license and work with Netflix to get this Stranger Things license and throw it out the window after one set, especially with how popular it is. Like I was saying, it might be bigger than Game of Thrones, but we I don't know. Anyways, to conclude, I think that if I had to say yay or nay on a LEGO set for Stranger Things in the future, I would say yay. In my speculations, 2020 or 2021. If it's 2021, I can I can assume we would get something from season three, but I think their best move would be to release it next year, kind of around the release date of season four, which is in December of next year. That's rumored, but it's kind of obvious the way season three ended and stuff like that. So if LEGO were smart, they would listen to their fans, unlike the 501st Battle Pack, and actually make a Stranger Things LEGO set. Don't give up their license. Do something similar to The Simpsons and release it next year, if not next year. 2021, I do see a CMF line in the future, I say maybe October next year as we get closer to season 4. Obviously they have to work on these things, things take time, that's why it's very hard to speculate and see this stuff, especially because LEGO is so secretive, but all in all, I do think Stranger Things will be coming back and something good will come out of this. But that is it, hopefully you guys enjoyed, if you did, leave a like down below because these videos are very fun to do, I like speculating about stuff and leave other topics where I can just talk to you guys uh, and talk to you guys about those topics. So let me know down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and most importantly, take care.